if you are looking for the perfect comfort dish, do not look any further, you guys. This is it. Ribs and rice, you guys. Oh, stay tuned. What is poppin' my YouTube fam? I am back with another quick, easy peasy, but yet delicious recipe. So today we are having rib tips, you guys. We have some beautiful rib tips right here. Get them in some water, scrub them up, get them nice and clean. All you will need for this recipe, you guys, is a beautiful crock pot, some seasoning, potatoes, and one whole chopped white onion. That is it. For the seasonings, you guys, today I am using some garlic powder, onion powder, slap your mama seasoning, black pepper, and for a kick, some New Orleans Cajun seasoning. That is it. So of course you can use the seasonings of your choice, and this is all you're gonna need, you guys. So let me get these nice and cleaned up, and I will be back to show you guys the next step, which is nothing major. We go clean them up, we go throw them in a crock pot, we go season them. We're not gonna get our potatoes in until like, sort of like the last minute. It's all good. Stay tuned, guys. Okay, y'all, when I tell y'all this recipe is so easy, this is just like if you ain't got time and you just don't feel like cooking nothing, you know, slaving over the stove, you guys, this is an easy, nice crock pot recipe. Just go to your local butcher, um, get a few slabs of ribs or get a slab of ribs. Tell them to cut it ribs and rice style. Your local butcher will know exactly what you are talking about. Um... Also, if you don't like fat like that, you could trim off, um, you know, trim off the fat. I like to keep a little fat on some of my um, bones because the fat is just going to render down and make more flavor. This is one of the things where, one of the meats I like to cook where I like to leave on a little bit of fat. So, you guys, this recipe is so quick, so easy that I don't, I didn't even set up my tripod. I could do this with one hand. I'm holding the camera with one hand, y'all. I'm about to, like throw this stuff in here I'm about to set it forget it go on about my day you guys so we have our rib tips here I think this looks like this looks like it may be two slabs or this may be um, let me see this is about yeah this is about two slabs you guys of ribs now what we're about to do is add in half of our diced onion we're gonna add in half now and then midway cooking, like when it's midway done, you guys, we're going to toss in the other half of everything. So let's toss in our onions. Just like that. Okay, so I added in half. See, that's what's left. We're also going to toss in half of our seasoning blend right here. Because we're going to save some for later. See? Okay, we're going to save some for later. And we're just going to take our beautiful clean hand. And we are going to incorporate. We are just going to incorporate the seasoning and the onions all throughout our rib tips. Okay. Take your hand and just incorporate it. See that? Easy. Okay. Let me just rinse my hand real quick. All right, you guys. So right now you can add beef broth. Um, if you want to cook it low and slow in beef broth, I'm not. I'm going to add one cup of water. These rib tips are going to make its own juice. Um, so you really don't have to add a lot of liquid. So there you go. Easy. The potatoes, we are not tossing it until the last minute. We're going to dice these bad boys up nice and cute or whatever and we are going to toss them in there when these bad boys are just midway done these are going to be so tender so flavorful so delicious we are also going to make like a little um gravy um towards the end we're going to thicken up that um thicken up the liquid and make a little gravy you guys so right now it's nothing to it but to do it put your lid on okay put your lid on Turn your bad boy on high, which mine is already on high. I'm going to cook this high for, it's going to be a total cooking time of about six hours, okay? Total cooking time, six hours. Like I said, in about 
four hours we're gonna come back and check and see how everything is doing and you guys stay tuned to see the finished result okay you guys we are almost done with our ribs and potatoes our rib tip and potatoes so now you guys it is time to this has been cooking for about four hours in total okay these are just about done now I just made a regular flour slurry nothing major I'm gonna pour it in there so I can thicken up that oh thicken up those juices in there you guys and again I'm going to gently just push it down to incorporate it I do not want to break my um, ribs apart so I'm gonna be really gentle come on camera hold on you guys I hate when my camera goes out of focus so I'm just gonna grab it and kind of just you know push it back down Y'all, these is gonna be so good, so seasoned, so flavorful. So now I'm gonna let this go for about another 30 minutes, you guys, and we are ready to eat. I will show you guys the finished result. All right, my YouTube family, here is the finished result. Yo, when you, I, listen, comfort, meal two words look at that nice seasoned potato look at that meat tender look at those ribs tender chunks we got a nice little gravy going on oh my god listen look at that look at that gravy and onions use whatever kind of rice you guys want if you want to use just white rice go right ahead jasmine rice go right ahead feel free to use whatever you want my mouth is watering y'all i cannot wait to dive in listen make you some cornbread or some potato salad make both i'm just gonna eat it just like this with the nice seasoned rice look at those ribs y'all oh my good pat where the hot sauce at pass the hot sauce Oh, Lord, have mercy. Talking about good eating. Listen, y'all. Mouth watering. Listen, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I have to go eat now. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.